Oh God, I just turned my camera on there, right in front of a cop car. I don't think he was looking at me, thank God. That's the beauty about Alice Springs' massive crime rate, is that the cops normally have better things to be worrying about than some idiot on a motorcycle switching on his camera. Anyway, as I speak, it is currently Christmas Eve. It is half past six at night, and it is still over 40 degrees. And because of that, like the heat and the weather being all wrong, I find Christmas in this country to be extremely strange. I have just never been able to wrap my head around it at all. Everything I knew about Christmas going up and everything that's associated with Christmas when, you know, you're a kid growing up is totally different here. Like even all of the carols are wrong and the Christmas songs. You know, for example, this. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. If you went roasting chestnuts on an open fire, at this time of year in Australia, a bloody state of emergency would be declared and half the state would catch fire. On top of that, you have this. Well, given that it's forecast to be 43 bloody degrees tomorrow, which is of course Christmas Day, the only white you're getting here is white hot. Another thing that's weird about Christmas in Australia is all of the traditional Christmas food. Like I said, it is going to be hotter than hell tomorrow, and the last thing you want to eat on a really stinking hot day is bloody turkey. I mean, it's not good warm weather food. You know, it's just not appropriate for this time of year. In Australia, most people actually eat prawns on Christmas Day. And yes, it is prawns. Despite what Crocodile Dundee would have told you, nobody in Australia calls them shrimp. Only prawns. If you walked up to an Australian and said, hey mate, let's put a few shrimps in the barbie, they'll probably dick punch you and you will completely deserve it. So for Christmas Eve dinner, myself and my friend Kate are going to get Vietnamese food in this awesome Vietnamese restaurant that's just outside Alice Springs. The family that own it, they actually live in a rural block and they grow all of the vegetables that they use in their food there. It has a really cool outdoor dining area as well. It is totally kitsch. Okay, that's my bit of silliness over for today. Oh, this road's a hundred too, I wasn't even speeding. Nice. Is that it? No, no, not this one. Sort of hard to see the entrance. This restaurant is totally cool though, it's a really awesome and slightly cheesy looking place. Ah oh, yes, there it is with the uh, big white and green gate pillars. Ooh. God, that was a big old pothole there. Right. So this is it. The really weird Vietnamese restaurant just outside the Alice. Pull in here. Oh my god, shade, it's so nice. Oh, good job, Mr. Yamaha. God, I missed you when I was up in Tannen Creek. And there's Case. 
So here we are folks, super kitsch and cheesy Vietnamese restaurant. Look at those lions. They're kind of awful, but I kind of want one in my garden. Oh, this is not good for tall people. I have no idea what these things are. <laughs> all right, better get checked in. Like all the best Asian restaurants, they have carp. Good on you lads. You go out there and be the best carp you can be. Carpe diem, if you will. Vietnamese style pork ribs. Get in my belly. A few inches later. <coughs> well, we made short work of that anyway. Oh God, that was decent. I am so unbelievably full though. But I really do like this restaurant. It has a really cool smoking area and oh yeah, yeah, there's a little Buddhist shrine up here as well, which is really awesome too. How cool is that? Pretty fantastic, isn't it? It's cheesy as hell, this place, but I think that's what makes it so nice. All right, folks, time to go home. I am now going to spend a very traditional Christmas Eve by sitting on my ass in front of the TV and watching the greatest Christmas movie of them all, Die Hard. Isn't this... Oh, there we go. It is still unbelievably warm. For all the whinging I did about Christmas being weird in Australia, I've probably come across as quite Grinch-like, but that is definitely not the case. I have a lot of really awesome stuff to be thankful for in my life. You know, I've got great friends, I have money, I have the opportunity to do anything the hell I want in my life. So, just because the weather's too hot, and that eating turkey is ill-advised. Doesn't mean that my life is in any way bad. Hang on a minute. I, I forgot to tie my bloody chin strap, God damn it! Uh, right, there we go. That's that sorted. Right, who to my sunset? Yeah, chin strap! I forgot to tie my chin strap! <laughs> See ya! It's a nice sunset. It kind of looks like a rain cloud. Be mad if we got some. Sorry, Kate, I ain't waiting. Totally looks like rain. That would actually be a Christmas miracle. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thank you for watching. And I would like to just wish you and all of yours a really, really happy Christmas. And I hope Santy is good to you all.